and I'm presenting Kato TV and today is the inauguration of the Society of Western Australia, the Yoruba Society of Western Australia and as we see dignitaries will soon be coming in I would like to have their opinion on what they feel about this inauguration of the Yoruba Society of Western Australia and how they hope for this to progress and what are the aims, the objective and the goals that they hope to achieve with this. Um, you have to come with me while we interview people and see their opinion on this. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure having you here. You look very lovely. I love you. Thank you. Thank You're you representing the Yoruba people, definitely. Yes. Oh, yes so I what am. part of Nigeria are you from? I'm from Ondo State. Oh, so you are really a Yoruba woman. Favorite Yoruba meal? Oh, I like um, pounded yam and egusi yeah. soup, inyong pounded yeah. yam, yes. Do you think um, the Yoruba society can bring something to the Australian society in terms of culture? Oh, yes. Um, I like the, as the aspect of respect, you know, that is in our culture, like yeah. respect for elders. Um, yes, I think uh, the Australian society can benefit from that, you know. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. It's lovely having a chat Thank with you. you Go enjoy much. your day. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure having you. Welcome to the inauguration of the Yoruba Society of Western Australia. Yeah. What part of Nigeria are you from? Um, I'm from Ibada. Okay. It's a pleasure having you. Um, what prompted you to come to this event? What motivated you? Um, I think um, it's a way of coming together to meet um, other Nigerians that are Yorubas too, and to come together and fellowship with everybody as Yorubas and feel yeah. like you're back home. So it's like you're away from home but you still feel at home? Here. Yeah, yeah, you can see the, all the colorful attires yeah. and things like that. Do you yeah. think there's enough of Yoruba influence here in Western Australia? Um, in all fairness, I'm relatively new here so yeah. I cannot really say precise uh, how f much of influence Yoruba society has had so far. But I'm aware of the Nigerian community as a whole, yeah. how much influence we had. Okay. Do you together. think there's anything Yoruba culture can give to Australia? Yeah, actually there's a lot. Because um, culturally, we are people that has um, a way of life and very beautiful culture that we can Lovely sell to the dressing. world. <laughs> Lovely dressing, flamboyant dressing. And you can see, yeah. for example, here, I think what I love most about Australian culture is the respect of the right of other people, essentially, and teaching everybody to respect every other person's space, which is which is quite interesting for me. So you're optimistic that in the nearest future, Yoruba society will be able to contribute their own quota to the Australian society at large? Yes, I'm optimistic. Okay. Nice having you. Please have you. a nice time. Wow, you look lovely. I like your attire. Thank you. Um, did you get this from Nigeria or? Yeah, it's, this material is called Ashoke and uh, it's from Nigeria, but it's marketed here by the beautifiers. Wow, you mean there is a shop here in Australia that does this? Yeah, the, the beautifiers are into makeup, African attires, shles, Ashoke, beads. And what have you? Yeah, that means all um, Nigerians here in Australia should keep that in mind. The beautifiers, you can yes. get an attire like this. Yes. Uh, okay. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Um, my name is Safra Tubakare. I live here in Australia. I'm married with two children. Wow, that means you're yeah, almost a citizen here. <laughs> Hope so. Okay. Um, so, this um, society that has been inaugurated today, the Yoruba Society of Western Australia, how do you see it going in the next five years? Uh, in the next five years, you want to you want to be able to see this association touch the lives of not just the Yoruba in this country, but the indigenous of this country as well. Because, like, if I wear this to church today, people are going to be looking at me as if I fell from mass. We want to be able to wear this to church to event and not be stared at because this is what we wear in our country. Yeah, beautiful. That's lovely. So that means you're talking about incorporating the Yoruba culture here in Australia, where you will not be ashamed to come out in your... Yes, exactly. We want a situation where our 
new our generation and the generation that is coming behind or our children and our grandchildren will be proud of our culture and not be afraid of it or will not be ashamed to exhibit it. So that's like bridging the um, Yoruba culture along with the Australian culture. Exactly. Oh, okay. Because um, you know, in, in Australia, we have diverse cultures. Apart from the indigenous, everybody is from different countries. So we want to be inculcate that culture of Yoruba into Australia, working hand in hand. Is there something about the Australian culture that you really like? Um, I like the togetherness. I like when you go to the park, you see the old people, two old people, man and wife, working out together. There is love among each other. I really appreciate that. Age it up together. Okay. Do you think there is something about Yoruba culture that Yoruba people can teach the Australians? Um, I think the culture of Yoruba. When, when um, my son wake up in the morning and he wants to greet us, he actually prostrate to greet my husband. That culture, that culture which um, here they just say hi, hi, hi. You, a child wake up in the morning and, stay, and tell the, 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 the father hi or the mother hi. In Yoruba culture, it's not like that. My daughter will wake up in the morning need and say good morning, mom, good morning, dad, and will pray, pray for the child. So I would like to see that in Australia. Okay, so is there something about the Australian culture too that you think we, the Yoruba people, can emulate? Um, yes, as acceptance, acceptance because we've been here, they've accepted us. I, will, I will want this. So Nigeria, they are accepting, they accept people, they are lovely people. I want a situation where we are, door, are open to any people from Australia if they want to come in. It was a nice time chatting with you. I'd like you to continue in all what you want to achieve here in Australia and hope you have a nice time in this show by, um, despite the inauguration. Thank you very much. I hope you have fun. Too. Okay, Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Tokwe Ashai. I'm the chairman of the association. Um, as you know, it's our first uh, anniversary, our former lunch. So we're, we're grateful that everybody's here to support us. <laughs> See, you look very lovely. Your attire is very oh, Yoruba. Thank you, thank so, you. like, where did you get this made? You brought it over? Or? No, I haven't got a clue. My wife made it for me. Wow, <laughs> wow, that's nice. Uh, okay, so where do you see this Yoruba society? Okay, people? going. Yeah, All right, okay. In the next five years, our aim, our, our, our vision is to, to develop into uh, the next couple of years for us to have like a um, street carnival. Right, we want to grow up so that we can have a one day of the year where we organize, join with other uh, cultural societies, um, and have a big street carnival like the Notting Hill Carnival in England. So that's our ultimate goal. Wow, these are like lofty goals. Do you think these goals are achievable? Yes, it is. Um, we've started very well, taking into consideration that this is our first year. So it's, within a year, we are here. We've managed to bring uh, two Obas from Nigeria wow. to come and join us for today. So we've started very well, and I think we, we, we will get there. Okay, what do you think this Yoruba culture can give to Australians? Australians, okay. We, already we give a lot of, um, we have a lot of our Yoruba people who are very professionals, a lot of our doctors here who contribute to the economy of Australia. And also, that, um, we, we need to showcase our culture so that we are not only known for, for some of the good and the bad that the Nigeria is known for worldwide. We actually can say this is what we are. This is who we are, and this is what we can do. Okay. Yeah. I've realized that the um, Yoruba culture is quite different from the Australian culture. How do you plan to bridge the gap between the I'm not two cultures? Okay, I'm not so sure whether it's that dif I mean, dif different, because we have the Aborigines. And also tonight, we've also invited some Aboriginal groups to come and perform for us, because we recognize the importance of them. Um, I'm not so sure that we're that much different. Right? We, we have a culture that is very, very rich. And this is, is I mean, we have a long history of our culture, but so has um, the indigenous uh, population in Australia as well. Okay, so you're saying it would be easy to integrate the Yoruba definitely. society into the Australian society? Definitely. definitely. Australia, Australia is a multicultural society, and they encourage all different cultures, yeah. right? and actually encourage us as well. So I think it's a good thing for Australia. Okay, are there projects that you're planning to put in place? We're looking at, we're looking at um, doing some charity work. Okay. okay, so we're looking at all both in Nigeria and also possibly here. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at that. That is another 
goal that we set ourselves to. We are already registered as a charity organization, so we're looking to do some charity okay, work. That's too. lovely. There are other um, groups, even Yoruba groups. I know there are other Yorubas from like different African yeah. cult cultures. Uh, yeah. yeah. So these um, Yorubas from different African countries, yeah. how are you going to unite all of them with other affiliations like the Igbos as well? And the Igbos as well. The Igbos are re represented here. Okay. So we have the vice president here. Right? We've invited them, we've reached out to them. We've um, reached out to, we were supposed to have um, other cultural stations from South Africa today. I was, um, I just came back from South Africa three weeks ago, where I went to go and represent our Australian version in one of their own major launch as well. So, um, and hopefully next year or the next couple of years, we're hoping to bring in Yoruba um, cultural association from Cuba, from Brazil, from the Caribbean. So, so we're, it's not only about just the Yoruba from Nigeria. No. Oh, okay. So if, if it's, it's more about the Yoruba culture. Oh, okay. So a, a, a Nigerian in Australia that yeah. maybe like Yoruba food, the attire, and all that. And all that stuff. Come yeah, and yeah, and be part of it. Okay, it's a pleasure having this chat. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, okay. thank, thank you. Bye. It's a pleasure having you here. What part of Nigeria are you from? I'm from Oyo State, Ibadan. Oh, definitely you're Yoruba. Um, and you? Um, from, well, I'm from Southampton in the United Kingdom originally. Wow. Here from England? Yeah, yeah. But, um, but um, we lived, I lived in Nigeria for eight years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice to have you here. Um, we'll be asking you some questions. Um, for a long period of time, there have not been this society here. And it just came here now. And do you think it's a good thing for us to have a Yoruba society in Western Australia? I think it's a good thing to get everybody together and share the Yoruba culture with everybody, especially with the little ones, so that they get to know the culture. You get to speak your language and you get to eat the food and just keep the Nigerian the Yoruba culture going. Okay, so do you have a favorite um, Yoruba food? Um, I have my least favorite Yoruba food, which is, which is Eba. <laughs> <laughs> Because when, when I first went to Nigeria, I, when I stayed in accommodation, all they gave me that I had they gave me ever every single night for three whole months, and I was like never again. So apart from which other one do you like? Do you like any of them? Uh, pounded yam, Ion is my favourite. Yeah. I like pounded yam too. <laughs> so um, do you think that there is anything we can do, the Yoruba society can do to enrich the Australian culture? Um, I. I think um, we are already contributed to Australian culture. You know, we take a billion of Australian culture as well, as long as keeping our, some of our culture as well. And so what's your favorite aspect of the Australian culture? Um, my favorite aspect of the Australian culture is um, you can just be yourself. You can be who you are without being judged by anybody, and you you're free to be yourself. Yeah. Um, obviously, you are aware of most of the African culture, the Yoruba culture from her. Is there anyone you really admire or like? Is there any what? Sorry. Any of the culture, the Yoruba culture that you really uh, like? I think it's the people, really. The people, Yoruba people, are always very friendly, accommodating. That's what I found when I went to Nigeria. I stayed in a in a town called Ire for the tour of the Polytechnic there, and everybody was very accommodating and friendly. And you know, you always feel relaxed around Yoruba people. And what I also love is that the dress and the the vibrancy of the of the of the culture. So yeah, so yeah. So it's, it's a pleasure having a chat with you. Please go and have a nice time.